this is my go-to story whenever like I have something like I meet new people and I so there we are, 17 years old, no idea how we ended up in the countryside of Lithuania, but there we are. And uh, their tradition then is to go through the sauna and they crank the heat up. And there's no like regulation on this thing because it's hand built and ran by these Lithuanian dudes. Now, Lucas is the our mutual contact, the guy who took us there. His dad is this like five foot three Lithuanian man with like the highest pitch voice you've ever heard. So it's just hysterical. He sounds like the, the pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean and the third one when he's like, and so we will go to war. <laughs> We shall go to war. So we go explore like bear caves and stuff while they're like, <laughs> by the way, yeah, we went into a bear cave throwing like all this uh, wood and like stoking the fire and getting this thing hot. So like we're literally getting into a sauna with an open flame underneath it. We get in, we have to, we get ready, which we thought was like stripped down to your boxers. And we get in there and then like. Lucas's dad is just butt ass naked. Yep. That was sick. First time I saw an uncircumcised <laughs> penis, which is hysterical. <laughs> so we're all sitting in there. They gave us these like weird, like Amish looking peasant hats. Oh yeah. We're like, What's this for? Like, so you don't pass out. And we're like, how intense is this? <laughs> like, it's intense. <laughs> like, okay. There's like a barrel full of water. And we're like, is that to splash in the thing? He's like, that's so if you feel like you're going to pass out, dunk your head in it. <laughs> we're like, Jesus Christ. So we sit in there. They do waves. So it's not just like you sit in there until you're sweaty and then you leave and you had a good time. Oh. They would do waves and waves and waves of heat and heat and heat. And you get to a point and then we'd all walk out and kind of mm -hmm. shake it off. Then we'd all walk back in, throwing the water in the furnace and that, that wave of impossible heat is coming through and just over and over and over. And then we walk back out. So the third one he's saying is the most intense. We all get back in for the third one. Now, Matt, your face is like burned into my memory of how funny it was. Your head was down. You, I think you're just focusing on not dying. There's splashing water. So he like pours a little beer in the ladle and he hits it and a wave of bread like smell goes through and I'm like I'm literally inside of an oven you're staring at the floor you look up and we make eye contact and your nose just starts <laughs> bleeding like just gushing blood and I'm like oh my god we're gonna die and you like book it we're like holy fuck Hank and I are like looking at each other we're like what are, have we gotten ourselves into like we're gonna die here people are like kind of funneling out and this is the last round so I'm like I want it all the Hank goes out and then it's just me and this naked Lithuanian man and he's like <laughs> He's like motioning for me to lay down. I'm like, okay, I'll lay down. I'm laying down and then he pulls out these tree branches. Oh yeah, the and palms. And just starts whipping the shit out. Yeah, hard. Yeah. I'm getting whipped by this naked Lithuanian dude in a furnace and I'm like about to die. I don't know if there was a, like a dial reading how hot it was, but I've never experienced anything close. To it. And after he's like done whipping me, he's like, get up, get out. And I like run out, hit that water slide and hit the baby pool. Oh yeah. They had a baby pool that was like freezing cold, fresh water. It was incredible. And I remember like popping up, standing up and just staring at the sun. And they gave us like the Schwitter, which is like the yeah. number one beer in the world at the time. And I just start, I pounded the whole thing. Didn't even blink, just staring at the sun. And the, <laughs> I went the blind. amount of like euphoria. It, Dude, it was, that's like top five beers of all time for me. That, that feeling just of how intense that heat was and then like hitting that water, like it does something to you, but it elevates you. You, you get somewhere, somewhere new with that.